Tonight's forecast is sponsored by Ashbrook Audiology, where relationships matter. Alrighty, we're wishing you a happy Monday. We hope you had a good weekend. We saw some showers and some much needed uh, thunderstorm activity. That again, it's not much needed, but it's anticipated. Let you know we're getting close to the summer season as well. Of course, congratulations to Kyle Larson. The NASCAR for the NOCO Sunday race yesterday uh, was able to pull up a big victory win. And of course, the Truck Series race. Uh, thanks, course, got a little delayed because of the weather. And that was forecasted to happen uh, as that uh, typically usually goes on this time of the year. So race weekend is always interesting. It's either rainy or it sometimes can be a little too windy for the cars on the track itself out there. Of course, thank you to all of our visitors uh, for making some time across the United States to visit little old Martinsville. If that was your first time there, welcome to Ridgeway, actually. But again, the Martinsville Speedway located here in the pride of Henry County. So congratulations to all of our drivers. And now we can get back uh, so we have uh, less congestedness uh, in that area area as well. So the good news is that we are going to see some drying conditions for the next several days. It's going to get windy once more. We want to remind you that burn ban does continue for the rest of the month. So you can give another couple more weeks or so before the burn ban uh, does uh, continue to come to a close. That is something we, that we've been emphasizing for the last several weeks and actually since the end of uh, since February. Basically once that went into effect February 15th is when it went into issued uh, for our hometown. So let the grass dry out for a day or two then and get the push mower and lawn mowers out there. Weed eaters definitely going to be needing it after this wet weekend. We saw 70, it's sun, excuse me, 60s and sunshine as we're trying to get to say right there as well. We'll see a very clear and calm night in the making for us. No thunderstorm activity this evening though. We'll just see a crystal clear sky at night moving in in the waking force. So if you do have plans later on this evening, maybe go walk the dog or maybe do just soak in the patio furniture or, or better yet, if your kids are doing any uh, baseball or softball or any uh, soccer activities, as they think, go ahead and take advantage of it. Now, however, though, it is going to get cool in a hurry. We're not going to be seeing those mild overnight lows like we saw earlier this weekend as the overnight lows are going to dip in the 40s for us. So actually, well, we should be for this time of the year, believe it or not. We'll see those clear skies overnight again, a light breeze at times out of the west, about 10 to 15 miles per hour. So again, a number one reason why you shouldn't be doing any burning because the winds are going to be out there uh, howling out of the west about 5 to 15 miles per hour. Tomorrow over Tuesday, we'll see a plentiful sunny day, breezy at times. Once again, we'll see again westerly north, west, southwesterly flow of wind direction in our hometowns giving us plenty of sunny skies. As you see, they're low to mid 70s, upper 70s towards Ridgeway. So any visitors just lingering around towards Martinsville, Henry County, maybe you are on spring break uh, for some of you. Maybe you did request to have some time off work. If you're visiting outside of our area, just do know, we expect to see lots of sunny skies at play. Low to mid 70s for our friend toward Patrick County, Stewart, Ararat, Woolwine, Patrick Springs. Uh, as you make your way up towards uh, at Route 11 and Route 8, they're outside of Montgomery County. County and Floyd County. I know I'm going well out of our area, but a beautiful time to get out there and soak in the sunshine. Something else I want to quickly make note about is that the pollen is going to be high as you make your way towards this uh, the next few days, and that is because we've got dry the dry air is at place. And another thing to consider is the breezes and those winds blowing blowing as well. So that is the main concern why we're having uh, warmer temperatures, but also again an increase in pollen numbers as well. So if you suffer from allergies, of course, I know a lot of people was going out about her a lot of chews and sneezes over the weekend doing some things outdoors, just kind of dodging showers in between. Yes, yeah, so make sure you have your allergy medication on standby. Again, breezy conditions tomorrow and also going into Wednesday. Winds will begin to diminish later later in the day on Wednesday afternoon. That is because we're going to get this front that's finally moving out of our area, bringing, of course, uh, you know, parts of the Mid-South this past weekend. You know, this is now the fourth weekend in a row that we've even here in our hometowns have seen showers and storms. 
they have seen tornado warnings and watches and flood alerts for parts of Mississippi, Tennessee, Louisiana, Alabama, and Georgia, also parts of Kansas and Arkansas now. And you wouldn't believe this, there's a potential for more severe weather expected for them later this week in the deep south and the mid-south. So check on your folks if you have family and friends down towards the Tennessee, Ohio, Mississippi River, River Valley, uh, the down to the deep south. Check on them because again, they may have the potential for seeing some more storms and possibly tornado damage again for next weekend, for this weekend coming up. 80s again, it's going to be the theme for us running well above the average high now for the next several days. A mix of clouds and sun for Thursday and going into Friday, we're looking not too bad either. So a good week to get that uh, yard work caught up if you can in between. Let those kids, if they're not at school practicing for soccer, get the lawnmowers out there for them. Put them to work. Of course, make sure they get their studies and stuff done first. You don't want to let them get behind because of that. But of course, just letting you know how you can take advantage of the week. Of course, if you are going to any baseball or any soccer or any, uh, you know, maybe some college lacrosse games going around some of our hometowns, you can take advantage of that. Saturday, we'll introduce a chance of some showers throughout the day. It's going to remain warm, but also overcast as well. So kind of an off and on day. We'll keep a close eye on that one. Again, this is bringing that same storm system to the Mid-South where they may see the potential for some of that severe weather move in their neck of the woods. Now, uh, enjoy this while this lasts because the Climate Prediction Center put out yesterday their uh, weekly outlook. Now, again, I don't normally show this on Mondays, but I thought this was very uh, um, interesting to look at because it's been so warm for the last several, almost week now, two weeks of roughly. Now we're going to begin to see some changes in our direction, and that's because some potential colder weather is expected. Now, could we get near freezing? Absolutely. There could be a couple of nights over the next couple of weeks we kind of dip near the freezing mark. Now, again, as you know, this time of the year, it's very short-lived uh, for this moment in time. So I would just hold off on any planting. I know a lot of trees are beginning to bloom. Well, they've been blooming since February, uh, since we had all that warmth record uh, in the winter time. But again, expect to see some much cooler than average temperatures or right on the swift of that below, well below average range as well. You kind of see the likely below leaning uh, towards less below to likely below average here in the darker the blue, the likely color of that potential for that colder weather to move in. It's kind of the color of my tie here, right? But anyway, just do expect that we're going to see a gradual cool down going into late this weekend and going into the following weeks leading up to the end of April. Uh, of course, right now, uh, there's the potential uh, that, again, don't expect us to remain cold, but we are anticipating that we're going to see likely cooler than average temperatures for our hometowns, possibly going into the latter of this month and going into the first start of May. So this gives you an idea where we are on the calendar. We're right above average, not near where we should be, but uh, besides that, rainfall departure still, we're needing some help with that. Uh, now that we got thunderstorms and some showers over this weekend, it's not enough to surpass our, uh, our negative amount of moisture, but again, we should be more right around a surplus. So without these rain showers, we're gonna continue to remain below average for precipitation levels, but most likely looking below average for our temperatures as we do expect this to go out towards the end of April. So. That's all that and wrapped up in a bottle there for you. Wrapped up, wrapped up in a foil. If we're even gonna call. I'm kind of get my um, all my synonyms and exaggerating, not exaggerating, but uh, my uh, metaphors uh, in a loop here. I can't do that right now. But anyway, do expect to see we're gonna see sh sunny skies. Wow, I'm gonna uh, yeah. sunny skies in the forecast. We'll see chances of rain for the weekend, and then again, possibly remaining cooler than average as well. That's enough of my time here for y'all. Have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine. We'll have more coming up right after this. Your BTW 21 weather forecast is sponsored by Zentmeyer Chiropractic.